Hey, I, I just wanna share with you for a moment a, a journey that we begin today. We begin a journey of 21 days of prayer. And here's what we're aiming towards. We're asking God to open up our hearts, to speak to us and to lead us individually and as a church. And so we are headed out on a journey of believing God for a miracle renovation. We're asking God to do a supernatural work as he did in providing the building. We're in a place where we're believing God. God, you provided this incredible building. We're so grateful. And God, we need the funds in order to renovate it, renovate it to make it home. And so we're gonna go on this journey where we're gonna ask God for 21 days. God, will you speak to each one of us and we'll do whatever you tell us to do. So it's, it's not the trustees or David and Renata or Pastor Nathan saying, will you sacrificially pray, give and serve? It's just us saying to you, will you obey God? Will you take 21 days and just say, God, what are you inviting me to do? So I was looking at some of the people that responded to God calling them or God speaking to them in the Old Testament. And there's, there's a moment where God calls to Abraham. In Genesis 22, he says, Abraham. And here's the response of Abraham. Here I am, here I am. There's a moment in Exodus three where God's got a plan for Moses. And he says, Moses, Exodus three. And here's Moses, burning bush story. Moses' response was, here I am. There's a story in 1 Samuel chapter three where young Samuel is called by God. And here's Samuel's response, here I am. That here I am is saying, I'm your servant. It's whatever you want. So if God's asking Abraham to make a sacrifice, he says, all that I have is yours, here I am. If God is saying to Moses, I've got a different plan than your plan. You think you're hanging out in the fields? I need you to go toe to toe with Pharaoh. Here I am or young Samuel. Hey, I've got a life of you being a prophet in Israel. I've got a, you're a young man, but I've got something for you. Here I am. And my prayer for us as a church, as families, as individuals, is that whatever the Lord speaks over these next 21 days, we would just say, here I am. All right, so I wanna pray a prayer over these 21 days. Uh, can you just, if you, will you just join me? Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord God for these 21 days of prayer. As we wait upon you, God, I ask, Lord, that you would speak and that our response would be, here I am, God. Everything that I have belongs to you. My future belongs to you. My plans are in your hands. They're not mine, God, my minutes, my years, my dollars, my life, it's all yours, God. So have your way. Whatever you wanna do, God, I give to you. God, we honor you today. We thank you for what you're gonna do in our church. We thank you for the years to come. We thank you, Lord God, that we will celebrate with joy God doing miracles every step of the way. We honor you in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, uh, we have available for you today these three different things. One, there's this bracelet, and uh, I'd like to invite you to wear that for 21 days or take a magnet. Those are right out here at the info booth. Put that on your refrigerator or just take this magazine, put it on your coffee table. And I'd like to invite you to use it as a prayer point. I'm asking everybody, if you would, for 21 days to pray. Just one sentence a day. God, do a miracle. Open the doors. You build your church. Whatever phrase you wanna say, but just a 30 second prayer for this season. If you'll take that and have that be a prayer point, just God, would you provide for this? And then give your yes to God, that would be significant. So uh, we're gonna, we're actually having um, each of our trustees pray at each of the services during this season. And so at the end of uh, this message today, uh, Pastor Tom is gonna go up, come on up and he's gonna speak um, and lead us in a prayer for the offering. That's gonna be amazing. Pastor Nathan's gonna bring the word today. It's gonna be awesome today. Um, so that's the update. That's where we're going. So here's what, where we're headed. Next week, uh, we're having on-site Sunday. So we're all gonna be in the new building next, next week. Now, it's the unrenovated building. So this is like, yeah, this is like, okay, God, 
when we're, we need a miracle here. We need these walls to be painted. We need to turn these gymnasiums into kids' spaces. That's gonna be an incredible time. We're gonna partake of communion together. It'll be a family Sunday, and so everybody will be together. So just be ready, guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really fun, but it's gonna be a little bit like an adventure. It's not gonna be quite as nice as it is here as Fiorella's. There won't be the big, beautiful tree. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit, but it's gonna be awesome, okay? So next week, nine and 1045. Are you up with that? Are you okay with that? Cool? Okay, all right. All right, so we'll do that. And then we'll, have, we'll be back here December 10th. Uh, and then on December 17th will be the culmination of our 21 days. And that'll really be a, a moment where we take kind of our first fruits offering. We'll believe God. Um, and I'm inviting you to take these 21 days and inviting you to sacrificially give on that day. And then also uh, we'll go on a 24 month journey where we'll invite you to make pledges and, and we're gonna go and believe God for this season of renovating this building.